So we come together as a people of faith. And we celebrate the, the lives of uh, Peter and Teresa during this Mass. But even more than that, we actually are celebrating their faith in Jesus Christ and His Church. It's the reason we have the Easter candle, the Paschal candle, lit. It's also a reminder to us of all the Vietnamese martyrs that we have uh, their relics of. They are also with us right now. So as we heard in the first reading, there is a lot that we don't necessarily see, but is actually happening right now. So all the angels and saints are now joining us in this Mass for Teresa and for Peter. So they bring heaven to earth and they bring also with them the gift of hope. We also heard in the Gospel of St. Matthew that Jesus brings the love of God the Father especially to us. And that's what it means to be a person of faith, that we believe Jesus is with us. It is the same faith that Peter and Teresa shared with you, the family, but also shared with us as church. And so that relationship with Jesus Christ is meant to have us look beyond what we see in the world to what is actually in heaven. And this literally, that belief, literally changes everything in our lives. Because we have hope beyond hope for our loved ones who have died and also for ourselves. And our consolation is with Jesus. That's why he told us in the gospel, Come to me, all you who are labor and find life burdensome, and I will give you rest. And he tells us that his burden is light, and in the end, it is the burden of faith, and he walks hand in hand with us. Both Peter and Teresa believed that in their lives, and that is actually where they have been drawn up into. In the end, 
find as people of faith, we are truly called to be in love with Jesus Christ such that no one and nothing can ever separate us from his love. <laughs> These are words, of course, of St. Paul, and he really gave us a powerful example of what it means to follow Jesus completely. And within the church, we have some wonderful signs of the love of Christ in our lives. When Teresa and Peter were baptized and when we were baptized, we received the promise of being heirs of heaven. And that actually is what needs to direct our lives, that we have our eyes on heaven. Jesus also has given us another gift of himself very personally in the Mass. Because as we pray the prayers of consecration over the bread and wine, it changes into his body and blood. And so when we come up to receive Holy Communion, as did Teresa and, and Peter, it is a moment for us to meet Jesus who is in heaven. And so together, as we receive his body and blood, it's a moment for us to taste the gift of heaven, life eternal. And that is actually what we are to bring into the world, that gift of Jesus that we hold within ourselves. And so as we offer this Mass for Peter and Teresa, it is a moment for us to join our prayers with them in their journey to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. And we assist them uh, with our prayers, but especially with our love and our hope for them, that they share with God forever eternal life and eternal happiness. <laughs> We also pray for the family, that, that God's peace may be yours at this time of loss. Let's stand and offer our prayers.